The same ancient megaliths built all over the world, made with boulders of incredible weight, some weighing as much as 150 tonne. There are 35,000 of them in Korea. Russia has 3,000 of them, with more being discovered each year. They are found in Israel, Syria, Jordan, Iran, Turkey, Somalia, Tunisia. Algeria has over 2,000 of them. They can be found in Ireland, the UK, France, Netherlands, Poland, Germany, Bulgaria, Italy, Turkey, Spain, Portugal, Malta, India, Japan. What are they? Who built them? And why? Now, they are called dolmen and are, in their simplest form, a very large horizontal rock balanced between two or more upright rocks. And the answers to why they were built can be skewed depending on your starting premise. For example, it is assumed by academia that all structures like this have a religious overtone. Once that is assumed, then the structure instantly becomes a form of temple for religious ceremonies and rites, or a burial tomb. But it is an assumption that often has no basis in fact, even if it is presented as such. They assume, based on the religious ceremony tomb idea, that the dolmen were burial tombs which were covered over with soil and then sealed, but the soil has long since eroded away. They assume this even though there is no evidence for any of it. No evidence they were tombs, no evidence they were buried with soil or sealed. They assume this erosion took place even though other items nearby will have been buried over time. Those objects become buried, but the dolmen become unburied. It's like selective erosion. Now, if I say, if I say this, these dolmen were used as pathway tombs where village elders were buried and used as a meeting place by that elder until that elder passed on. He would stand on top of the dolmen and address the tribe while he was the leader. After his demise, he would be buried beneath the dolmen and a new dolmen erected elsewhere for the new leader. And that is why you find an area can have many dolmens. It seems like a legit answer. It seems incredibly reasonable and it seems correct. But I just made that up right now to prove a point. And that is when something is stated as if it is a known fact, it can mistakenly take on the appearance of a known fact. The truth is the dolmens are as mysterious to archaeologists as they are to any layman, but no one looks to the layman for answers. The archaeologist, on the other hand, has an expectation to have answers and as such is required to produce bodies of work, so they create assumptive answers, and they go along with the previous answers of their peers, lest they get ridiculed, their thesis gets knocked back, and or their grants are removed, and a layman is under no such pressure. The dolmen are attributed to the Neolithic Bronze Age people of 6,000 years ago, meaning they were apparently built around 3,000 to 4,000 BC, and some have even been attributed to be as old as 5000 BC, which, if true, means people were building these things for 2000 years. Or, they were all built around the same time, but best guess is somewhere around way, way, way back, we don't have a clue, so we'll just say three to 4000 years ago, as people expect an answer from us because we're archaeologists. Now, back in that time period, people had a struggle to live, and yet, we are asked to believe they took time out of their daily struggle to survive to build these megaliths just to lay a dead person under. Sorry, but I'm not buying it. I think a person whose day-to-day -day survival was their main concern would only spend their time on such a thing for a very good reason, a reason which would aid their survival. Not only that, these dolmen are found all around the world, like I said, from Ireland to Russia, where they are slightly different in Russia, and they often have four walls and a small round hole in one of the walls and a plug which can be put into that hole from the inside. There's about 3,000 of them in, in Russia and they're finding more all the time. Now, there are other types and uh, they're like the tabletop types where they're open. So you've uh, basically got those the side uprights and a big slab of stone on top acting like a kind of a tabletop. They're in Korea, they're in Japan, they're in India, in Africa. They're all over the place. So either the Bronze Age people travelled far and wide and brought their dolmen idea with them, which we are told they didn't do, or different people from around the world came up with the same solution for the same problems they were facing, or 
There was a single worldwide civilization in contact with each other and they built them for whatever reasons they had. Now, interestingly, the Russian ones are said to be built by giants on behalf of little people. The little people didn't treat the giants well and war broke out between them and they both ended up wiping each other out, leaving the dolmen behind for more modern humans to use. But barring those kinds of tales, we ask, are there clues found in them or near them which might lead to an answer? In my opinion, yes, there are. Besides an occasional piece of jewellery, the usual find are weapons. Knives, daggers, swords and their scabbards. And so I deduce they had another purpose besides burying weapons and then laying a dead body on top of the buried weapons. I mean, why remove the body and leave the weapons, right? If you were the same people who made the dolmens and then put weapons in the soil under them, and of course that's only those that could have soil, as some had uneven rocks as their floor, certainly not anything you'd, you'd lay a precious leader on top of. Well, you wouldn't remove the body and leave the weapons. You'd take the weapons. The only reason to leave the weapons is because knowledge of the weapons being there was not known. And that would mean that the next people in the area didn't make them. Otherwise, they would have known about the weapons and taken them as weapons have a survival use. Or... The weapons were covered over in the same way other nearby signs of habitation are covered over time, left behind and gradually covered over by nature when the original people moved on, were killed or died of natural disasters. Now imagine you were a hunter and your prey is larger than you, much larger. If you sought shelter from such a creature, you would want it to be a sturdy structure which could not be penetrated. And as a hunter, you would also want a structure which would hide you like any modern hunter's blind, and you might even pre-supply it with weapons. I give you the dolmen, a very heavy rock on top, which cannot be moved by any large animal which might be after you, a narrow passageway through which such an animal could not get to you, while still leaving you a means of escape if needed. What sort of animal? I don't know, an animal such as the mammoth, for example, or even another large dinosaur of some description. You would be living in a world where these things might attack. So even if you didn't hunt them, you would need shelter from them on your travels. What better place to duck for cover than a dolmen or a man-made cave in the open, if you prefer. Of course, we call it the open now, but back then, who can say how lush the surrounding landscape was? And the weapons found easily pre-supplied for when needed. Just as today in parts of Alaska, for example, there are supplied shelters for use by any who may need it on their travels. And those who do also try to keep them supplied for others. Yes, bodies have been found near them, but not in them or under them. But that doesn't mean those people were the builders of them. It no more proves they built them than, let's say, my, let, let's say my city was abandoned over the course of the next 50 years. And then a thousand years later, new people moved in and left all manner of objects behind. And then, three thousand years later, archaeologists find their items and say they built the city. It is a wrong deduction. And this is the problem faced with figuring out dolmens as well. Objects found near them are not necessarily from those who built the dolmens, including the weapons I mentioned. Any verified use by second users does not prove why they were originally built. And there are no verified use by second users anyway. There are no written records and no one was around back then who was alive today and knows for certain. All claims of their original use by archaeologists are assumptions and are just as valid as any layman assumptions. If you assume the dolmen are religious in nature, all your thinking will go along those lines. If you assume they are protective in nature, then your thinking takes you away from the usual everything is religious and ceremonial spiel and takes you along a how did this aid their survival line of thought. And at a time when survival was hard, I believe this is the correct way to think about them. A structure that was not complicated to build, a structure to protect them from a threat, a structure that needed to withstand the threat. And so we then ask, what could the threat be? It could be animals or it could be falling objects from the sky, meteorite showers, falling rocks from volcanic eruptions, protection from severe sun rays, or as some have suggested, protection from alien bombardment from above. Now look at the Russian dolmen again. What could be safer than sealing yourself into a dolmen with a small entrance so wolves would not attack you at night while you slept? After all, Russia does have a problem with wolves attacking people. 
people struggling to survive did not manoeuvre large boulders weighing as much as 150 tonne on top of standing boulders just for fun. Which leads to the question, how did they build them? And that is for another video, but I will hint that when the means of construction is removed, how it was done becomes a puzzle. Are the tens of thousands of dolmens from Europe to Asia to India to Africa, the Middle East and Russia all for the same religious reason? Could they have been built for protection from large animals or even the last of the dinosaurs? Are they protection from aliens or protection from something else? Was there a worldwide civilization who built them and we came along later and found them? Or is there some other yet unknown reason for them? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below.